Hello, I'm Rob Nichols from Boston Trust Realty Group, and today I want to talk about real estate investing, and specifically, I want to talk about buying and holding investment properties. So, when I talk to a lot of new investors here in the Boston area, one of the first things they talk about when they want to buy and hold investment property is cash flow, return on investment, building wealth, and those are all fantastic things. But in reality, there's a lot more that goes into buying and holding investment property that a lot of investors don't consider prior to all the stuff that looks great on paper. And that's what I wanna talk about today. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the condition of the property. When you're looking to purchase an investment property, you wanna make sure the property is in great shape and that all the systems are in good working order. And the best way to do that is to have a home inspection prior to closing on the property. The home inspector will be able to check the heating system, electrical, the plumbing, the windows, the roof, and those are really the essentials of the building of the property and the things that'll cost you a lot of money down the road if they aren't in good working order when you close. So before you close, have a home inspection, make sure the asset is good. If it isn't, find out how much it's gonna cost you to make the repairs and make them immediately upon closing so that you can set yourself up for success. The second thing you wanna do is thoroughly, thoroughly vet your tenants. I know I've spoken about this before, but it's extremely important to check their background for evictions and judgments. You also want to check uh, their income and employment. And more importantly, you want to do an in-apartment interview, meaning you want to see how they're living right now and do an interview at their place before you accept them as a tenant. Once you see how they're living, it's really going to tell you everything you need to know about how they're going to take care of your place. So to recap, to stabilize the property prior to closing, you want to make sure all repairs are done, that everything's in good working order, and that you really vet your tenant so that your real estate success story does not become a real estate disaster. Hope you found this information helpful. Have a fantastic day.